Hello everyone, my name is Sophie St. Thomas and I am the author of Finding Your Higher Self, Your Guide to Cannabis for Self-Care, published by Adams Media, an imprint of Simon & Schuster. Cannabis and self-care sounds like something we could all really use right now. And if you want to learn more about it, this book is literally about just that. But I'm gonna be talking about some of my favorite books that are not my own, but that I bought at my favorite New York City indie bookstore, which is Strand. I'm feeling a little witchy today, which I guess I always feel a little bit witchy. But first up is 78 Degrees of Wisdom. Is anyone out there interested in tarot? Well, this is your tarot Bible. It goes over how to read the cards, what each card says, how they're all connected. And it, it like reads like a novel, but it also teaches you about tarot and you can reference it. I've been reading tarot for years and I still reference this book. I've written all over my copy with notes like a textbook. It's a great read and I think it's the best tarot book out there. How about, has anyone heard of Diana Nyad? Diana Nyad, have to fact check on the back of the book. When she was 64, she swam from Cuba all the way to the Florida Keys. This book is very inspiring. I think we could all use some inspiration right now with the main takeaways being perseverance, onward, that our dreams can come true, that there is a future, and that we all are very, very powerful and able to achieve our dreams. So I highly recommend that. Diana and I had find a way. Amen to that. Has anyone I have, and I'm sorry if you have to experience trauma or is interested in trauma. That's kind of like a buzzword is wrong because it's so real, but we're, society is talking about trauma. The body keeps the score, brain, mind, and body in the healing of trauma. Forgive me if I mess this up by Bessel von der Kolk, MD. Oh my God, this book, it, it was like it was reading me. It, it, I started recognizing patterns that I was doing from experiences I had in the past. It takes the most up-to-date scientific data on trauma and how our bodies hold on to it. So even after we're healed from something, we might get pains. We might crouch in the bathroom when we're scared. And remember that we did that once during a very traumatic time. It is a excellent read. Unfortunately, there's a lot of trauma going around. So for a compassionate yet comprehensive understanding about how that affects our body and our nervous systems, the body keeps the score. Next up is a classic, a classic, Women Who Run With The Wolves, Myths and Stories of the Wild Woman Archetype. This book will make you feel powerful. You don't even need a full moon, all moons, any moon, every moon, you are powerful and it's beautifully written and it's so interesting and you learn about the whole wide world while better understanding yourself and I cannot recommend it enough. Almost last but not least, written by a wild woman, the Astrology of Love and Sex. I get to brag because my best friend, Annabelle Gatt wrote this book, who is Vice's resident astrologer. It's even signed. It tells you your compatibility with each sign, every other sign. This is the most modern, most iconic love and sex astrology manual. I cannot recommend it enough for anyone. And a little fun one for when I'm bored or anytime, is Where's Bowie? I love David Bowie so much. This is like Where's Waldo, but it's David Bowie. And search for David Bowie in Berlin, New York, outer space, and more. Basically all the places Bowie hangs out. But if you look, there's just these gorgeous spreads and you gotta find him. I have been having a wonderful time chatting about books with you in my bookshelf bed. Thank you, Simon and Schuster for putting this together and thank you for watching and thank you, Strand Bookstore. I cannot wait till I can go shopping you again. See y'all soon.